So at this point we have already working user API, article API, and in this video I would like to show you how to import and what are the necessary dependencies to work with Spring Security and what happens when we add Spring Security to our product. At the same time, this is the reason why we didn't add that in the beginning. So as the first thing, let's open up the browser and navigate to Maven repository. Maven repository.com Maybe not API, maybe I'll reject that, but at the end of the day, I would like to get here. As the first library, I would like to add JJWT, which is the most popular Java library to work with JWT tokens. Of course, feel free to choose whatever you want and you, you would like to see your alternatives. Just navigate to JWT.io page right here. Firstly, accept all, go to libraries and you will find libraries for different languages. For Kotlin you can find two and similarly for Java there is a bunch of libraries. Nevertheless, I will be using JJWT, so JJWT, enter and I'll need three things, the API, the implementation and the JSON. So hit control, API, implementation and Jackson will do a bunch of copying here. Let's specify the last one, Gradle Kotlin, copy this value and get back to IntelliJ. In IntelliJ we must go to build Gradle. I'll hit enter between here. Let's specify this one. Now let's get back here. Same for implementation. And similarly for Jackson. I'll change runtime only for implementation. So implementation, same implementation. Additionally, we must add two things, the Spring Boot starter for Spring Security and the dependency for test two. So let's get back to Maven repository and search for uh, Spring Security. And right here we have Spring Boot Starter Security. If you go here, you can copy Gradle Kotlin implementation. Let's get back here. We can copy and moreover, we can completely get rid of the uh, version right here so that all the versions of Starter will match in our project. Lastly, as I mentioned, Spring Security Test. This is something we need to add. Spring Security Test. Wonderful. Again, specify the last one. Copy. Let's open up test implementation. I would like to get rid of the version. And following, we must sync the project. So in this part, you can see this elephant. You can click on that, or if it doesn't pop up, you click on the Gradle, and right here you can reload all Gradle projects, which will fetch the necessary dependencies. Following, let's rerun our application and see what's happening. So as the first thing, we can see that Tomcat not only started on this port, but using generated security password, and this generated password is blah 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 for development use only. So what happened here? Well, when we add Spring Security to our Spring Boot project, the authentication gets enabled by default. So now let's go to Postman and let's see what's happening. In the meantime, I will copy this value because we will need that in a moment. So let me open up Postman. And firstly, let's hit send. Unfortunately, we can see that we got unauthorized. So again, as I mentioned, the authentication got enabled and to bypass that you would have to go to authorization basic of as the username we must specify user and as the password the password that was generated let's hit send once again and this time we can see that everything is working fine so this shows why I didn't add that in the beginning and I prefer to do that later when we finish working with endpoints and we want to start working finally with authentication. So that's all for this video. 
those are all the dependencies that we need at this point. And in the next one, I will show you how to generate JWD tokens. So see you in the next one.